Guess I'm going down that. Jeez, look at it right there. Crap. That is not looking good. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we're enjoythejourney.life. Just like we shared our RV Crushes truck video series to help you guys from crushing your truck with a mistake that I made a while back. Uh, this is another video to help you guys avoid this particular campground and this situation that can damage your RV. Not the campground we're at right now, the one that we recorded the original video at. We'll tell you more about this campground later on in the video. is not gonna work I'm touching right there I don't think any damage but I got to go down there so I can try going the other way <laughs> this, this is crazy now this campground that we were at was a thousand trails park and we love our thousand trails membership I mean great for saving money on hundreds of campgrounds and uh, we love most of the parks and actually this park is called Carolina Landing in Fair Play, South Carolina and it's a beautiful park. I mean it's on a huge lake. I enjoyed amazing sunsets there. It's a really great park in a lot of ways but this particular area is not good. But this park was so hilly. We couldn't even get level on our campsite. And then trying to get, well, even getting in was a challenge, but getting out, wow, I'm gonna show you that in detail and what happened. So, guess I'm backing up. That is not looking good. So why is the steepness or hilliness of a campground or just 
any road an issue with a fifth wheel or again a travel trailer or a class a could have a similar issue because you know you, your rv is moving like this and as you can see in our video literally the back of our truck is connecting with here it's touching this area right here and if you're just driving along think oh i'm gonna make this hill no worries my truck can do it you're not thinking about this generally so you need to be aware of it you probably don't have a camera back here to see that so you know this can be a real issue i guess i'm going down that Jeez, look at it right there back up and come down this way which seems which seems insane but that's all i can do you know i can't i can't go higher anymore Well, actually, better than that road is maybe this campsite right here. I can try. I don't know. That's quite a lip right there. I'd have to get up. Guess I can try it and just back up if it's not going to work. Make sure you smash that subscribe button or scan this QR code right here with your smartphone to be subscribed to our channel and to catch our next video. You also wanna find out where this amazing campsite is. We are backed up right to the water and very nice boats. So subscribe again so you catch that video. four-wheel drive but it cleared the main the main hump I don't see any damage now we love our B&W companion hitch from e-trailer we've had this for several years now it is rock solid you can see the jaws closed in and it's got this movement again that helps to smooth out your ride now for some of our viewers out there you might be able to help me out with this but it actually has three settings on it so it's in the middle setting so I could actually go up one more setting and create a little bit more height and but I don't, I don't think it would ride as level on the road that way. But again, some of you, if you've got an F450 and a similar big RV, let us know if you've got the BMW Companion down in the comments. Uh, what setting, the middle, the lower? The lower would definitely be too low. Or do you put it all the way on the high setting? Uh, but the recommended for us was the middle setting. And I, I think that's the most even on the road but that is one solution i could do in the moment though it would take some time and i definitely you know didn't want to do that in the campground but uh yeah i can't say enough good things about the bmw companion hitch we'll throw a link down below to this because yeah i i think this is the number one best hitch i mean it looks a little bit worn a little bit uh but uh again rock solid
Now, alternatively, I could have also added some air to this Lippert pin box right here. Uh, you can go up to 120 PSI, but man, I, I don't know that I would trust that with that much air pressure in it. But not everybody has one of these. So, but this would have helped me in this particular situation. <laughs> Craziest campground ever. Holy cow. And that doesn't include what it was like coming in here. Holy cow. Like a lot of Thousand Trails parks, uh, it just needs some updating. It was probably built many, many years ago before we were all driving these huge RVs and it's just not set up for that. And uh, the manager is aware of it. Uh, she certainly has sympathy for us campers, but she doesn't control the budget. So until Thousand Trails puts some major investment into smoothing out the campsites, but more importantly, the road needs to be smooth enough so that you know we can drive our big rigs, especially a fifth wheel, but I'm gonna imagine a travel trailer and even a class A if you are towing a, a vehicle or something with your class A, that you're gonna have issues with these hills. So until they fix this, we are not coming back to this particular park. Now there might be some areas that you can get into, but I would definitely question the management on where you're gonna be situated so you can make sure you get in and avoid this particular area that I had to turn around in. And again, it's not just this campground. If you are going out boondocking and going off roading on some rough roads to get to a campsite or whatever, and actually even just pulling into a gas station sometimes that sway between your hitch and your fifth wheel you have to be aware that it could make that connection uh, with the back of your truck and damage your rv and or your truck or both now I'm off to get six brand new tires installed on the RV and to find out what that awful squealing sound was on the RV. Is it the brakes? How do I get brand new tires on the road and you're traveling? Well, I go to eTrailer. That's right, eTrailer.com has tires for your trailer. They can send them to you wherever you're at, like this is uh, Smith Tire and Alignment in Livonia, Georgia. And I had them sent here last week and they were happy to receive them and getting them installed right now. And I will be on the road very shortly. Uh, again, e-trailer can get the tires you want and sent to the shop that you want to get installed. I think they're only charging me like 25 bucks a tire not too bad and you make sure you get the tires that you want after they took the spare tire off and we had all brand new tires that squealing went away i did ask them to check it out but i didn't really get any specific information on it now we've got uh lippert disc brakes installed hydraulic disc brakes they've been amazing so again that squealing went away so you guys that know more about this maybe you can say what it was i'm thinking it was something with our spare tire very cool because just about an hour later i am back on the road i will put a link uh down to e-trailer where you can get all kinds of things uh for your rv your truck amazing accessories at e-trailer check them out and you can catch our very next video right here.